Kenya's president, William Ruto, has rejected a controversial new finance bill that sparked violent demonstrations in recent days. He refused to send the amended draft law back to parliament, effectively withdrawing it. Thousands of protesters breached the security barrier outside the parliament building in Nairobi on Tuesday. They were showing their anger at proposed tax hikes at a time when living costs are on the rise. At least 23 people were killed in clashes between police and protesters. Let's listen to what President Ruto had to say. To the people of Kenya, who have said loudly that they want nothing to do with this Finance Bill 2024, I concede. And therefore, I will not sign the 2024 finance bill and it shall subsequently be withdrawn and I have agreed with these members that that becomes our collective position. For more, let's cross straight over to Nairobi where our correspondent Felix Manon Moringa is standing by. Felix, what did the president say about the controversial tax bill? So the president said the controversial tax bill is now withdrawn. Uh, it will no longer be in effect. And now people can uh, get to rest. But some of the things that um, this means is that uh, the government will need to find other methods to raise the finances required to run the government year or uh, a budget for the government to run uh, their normal operations. Uh, the president uh, saying that they felt the pressure and they felt that um, people did not want anything to do with the finance bill in totality. Now, some of the things that the president said that he will have to raise funds for is uh, employing, employing uh, junior secondary school teachers, which he said their money had been budgeted for in the tax proposals. He also said that um, the government had planned to buy fertilizer and other farm inputs, uh, part of the money that would be raised uh, in that controversial uh, finance bill. <clears throat> and that also, now he says he will have to look for money. Uh, the other thing that the president said was that he has listened to people and they have told him to deal firmly with corruption. So he said he will be dealing firmly with corruption because a third of Kenya's budget is lost annually to corruption. And if uh, the president can rein in on uh, the runaway corruption, then probably the government would be able to raise its own finances. He also okay. said that his office and other uh, constitutional offices will have to now cut down on their budget to live within their means. How are Kenyans reacting to this news? Majority of protesters online have um, started uh, commenting on the president's speech, and majority of them are saying this is a PR stunt. Many are questioning why the president did not address the deaths of young people yesterday. Many are questioning why this evening and not yesterday evening when the president addressed <clears throat> the masses. Uh, many are saying that uh, it's too late. It's no longer just about the finance bill. It's about corruption. It's about management. It's about poor governance. It's about so many other things and not just the finance bill. And people are saying they will not relent until they see change happening in the country. Felix, thank you very much. That was our correspondent in Nairobi, Felix Mina Moringa.